Scott Hope has played four, and uh, he's still some distance from the hole, so there's a chance for Colin Montgomery to to make a half and to square this match at the, the, the turn. And you do get the feeling that, that he and uh, and Faldo and maybe Langer are the ones with the experience who've got to come through if Europe are going to win this cup. Don't ask any more. Per Ulrich Johansson, he's done magnificently. Thomas Bjorn might do it. You never know with Darren Clark, but uh, so many permutations. So that's why they call it the greatest golf show in the world. Needs to go. And again, it's going to be tricky for the players. So uh, Colin Montgomery only making a, a five at the ninth. He's one down. He missed, Hope hold. And the hold hard. One up at the turn. Been times when they'd have settled for just halving this great match. 273 for Colin Montgomery. These two halving the tent in four. And Monty is one of the best players of a driver off the deck in the world, as we know. One down to uh, Scott Hope. So, uh, Scott Hope knowing that Colin Montgomery is very close to the putting surface in, in two. And he's away back and not lying so well. So a real chance for Colin Montgomery to square this matchup. And all the players have played this little pitch to the 11th beautifully this afternoon. Definitely a chance for Colin Montgomery. Monty, come on. Well, he's left himself his favourite length. Even the players that have been beaten were not over par, so it's just incredible for the birdie, Monty. of uh, two wonderful approach shots. Well, there's often a result in this 12th hole. Never easy down the hill. Just on the 200 yards. He hasn't quite found his touch today, Colin Montgomery. It's going to be guts that gets him through. beautifully crisp but he doesn't like it too much or does he oh did that hit somebody oh goodness me I'm sure that he just picked that it sounded a horrible clunk tough Scott Hoch right over the flag it's a hard work for Monty to get out of this one on Twelve. This is Scott Hope for a, for a half. So, if that's uh, correct, that must have been some up and down for Colin Montgomery. Remember, he was in the bunker right side, coming off. I think he might have been off the umbrella of a spectator. On the exactly on the left, it, 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 on the left, yeah, on the left, yeah, yeah, on the bunker on the left, yeah. So, but it, it did him a favour knocking him into the bunker. Doesn't miss many of these though. Straight into the heart of the hole. Still one up. Hole hard in three. This was uh, Montgomery's recovery. And he had this for the par to get in the hole first. Of course, he's looked so good at that length all week long, and it's a surprise when he misses them. Up the hill for Hoke to the 14th. Oh, looks like he's come right off that. And this hole has caused a little drama this afternoon with this change in the wind playing a little longer. It's a very difficult shot up that steep hill. Opening here now, maybe for Monty. Then the two halves. Europe need they still retain the cup. 
Well, we saw Scott Hope come off that second shot in the bunker. Montgomery to win 14, and, and he's probably got two for it. Good, solid. That's good enough. That's all square. There's the backup. Scott Hope not giving this up at the moment. Uh, Brent Montgomery already on uh, the green. It may have been, may have been Hope's uh, third shot. He was. I don't think he would have hit his drive that far. And Colin Montgomery, we hear, is on in two. Maybe the, the leaderboard focused Colin Montgomery's mind again. He was looking at it a little bit down and hard on himself as uh, sometimes he, he does and probably looked at the leaderboard and, and thought goodness it, it could all come down to, to me and that refocused him and now he has a great chance to take the lead against Scott Hope for the first time this is Colin Montgomery on the 16th in two with Scott Hope there for three. This to win the hole, and that may be good enough, two putts. So for the half for Scott Hoke at 16. The putt with not a great deal of break in it, just outside the hole and with the amount of rain that's coming down, perhaps he can hit it more positively. his part of the moment not conceded and it's the third time an American's missed that particular putt get the waterproofs out now did they, did they pack the waterproofs I don't think you mind getting wet at this point in time it's uh, can be disturbing though I always think when you've got rain coming down through the shirt and sometimes it's okay just to put the sweater on but it's warm and muggy out there I'm not suffering from cold yeah. Montgomery now one up. Anxious to finish this off and, and join the party. <laughs> Shall I say the black and white stuff? But of a different sort. Two balls on the fairway at 17. The one further ahead is that of Colin Montgomery. Laying up with a wood. Well, this is novel. Mm. And into the rough. I have to say, it was a brave hit. Now, Colin to lay up long iron. Oh, no. No. oh he's not hit that too well, no. is he? Water on the left, and would it be saved? Just, just sit, he said, and the ball listened. Tough shot for Oak. All sitting up quite well. <laughs> it's 14-13 at the moment, isn't it? And Scott Hope is going to do his darndest to at least get the Americans a tie. for being a bit too near the green once he likes them a bit further away than that Monty is pretty useful with the putter mm. even this on 17 in these circumstances is always a tall order but what a brilliant shot from Scott Hoke from that right hand rough 
the cup is staying in Europe. But if it finishes 14 uh, a piece, it's rather like having a, a vintage bottle of wine and enjoying it and just finding a little bit of cork in the glass. That just takes a little bit of the pleasure away. Up the hill, apart from right to left, and he can hit this very firm. Got it, went, oh. I really thought that was going in. Well, Colin. Come on. Come on. Good putt, said Sevi Ballesteros. He gave it a chance. He got it going towards the hole. And here we are. Last match out. Down the last. Everything riding on this, and it's all square. Well, huge amounts of pressure on both these players and Hoke really taking an enormous amount of time here. And of course, Monty likes to get on with things. It's almost also his, Monty's natural shape is left to right. And aiming this on the corner of the dog leg. Can he turn it right to left? And that one has gone left. There's the ball, and it looks reasonably playable. And more importantly, he's got a line. It's gone through the trees. Now he must try and put himself with a shot that gives him a shot to the hole. No cameras! The Americans have played this hole a good deal better than the Europeans. He's watching it anxiously. It's a beauty. And that is a magnificent shot. A half for Montgomery would win the cup for, for Europe. Hundred and seventy three to the hole for Hoke. And it's out of the wet grass, so a little bit further up than where Olathabel was. And still a very tough shot. You can see that ball really nestling down and to control it out of there. And we'll cry out great deal of skill. Oh, it's gone left, horridly left. It was never an easy shot. And, uh, now the way clear for Colin Montgomery. The rain pouring down. Colin Montgomery is net. not a slow player. Once he's uh, decided on the shot, he doesn't waste much time in executing it. Likes the look of it. Behind the flag. Up and down. Wonderful shot. And I think he may start to celebrate now. It's hard to see from there whether he can actually have a clear shot at the flag or needs to come in over the top of the trees far away from him and as I suspected he's going to make Monty go the full distance Two putts now for the half, which will mean that Europe actually win the cup. Can he do another Sam Torrance? 
What have Sir Scott then? Could it be a Scott now? He's got two parts here. Take them. He'll take them. And they've settled. He's conceded the putt. He's settled for the half. No, he hasn't. I thought he had. He looked across and he was actually just saying, can I have that? He's not going to concede Scott Hoker. This match has been too hard fought for that. What well, he has. That's a lovely sporting gesture. A typical in keeping with the game. He gives Scott Hoke the half. The final match score, 14 and a half to 13 and a half. And what a wonderful three days it has been. Well, two images then for me. Monty looking absolutely drained last night on the 18th. And then just sportingly conceding that putt to Scott Hoke and letting Scott Hoke go in the record books as someone who halved his match in the singles in his debut in the Ryder Cup at the age of 41. Colin Montgomery knows there will be many more Ryder Cups to come for him. One day, maybe, he will be captain of this side. But Seve in Spain has won the Ryder Cup for Europe. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.